Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris. I'm back again with another video. We're going to dive back into the build reviews again and take a look at a build called the Razor build. I actually, believe it or not, right here I have the SPMC Media Center fork. Uh, this actually is a fork for older builds like Jarvis. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with Jarvis, that was the um, Cody version of the newest Krypton so this is the older version but I have the build still to this day from day one once I downloaded it I have yet to take it off so that's really really what I think about this build I think it's amazing and now that they've come out with the Cody 17.6 Krypton version I'm super excited to show you guys and we will here in just a second uh, and I'll actually show you guys how to download it and install it first and then we'll go through the build review and let you see all about it. Uh, but before we begin, definitely want to give a quick shout out to all you guys that are subscribing. Again, thank you all for the support. Uh, keep sharing, keep liking the videos, keep the interaction going. I love it when you guys are leaving comments and let me know what you think. Uh, that's that's very important to me, and that's why I keep going. Like I said, when I first started out this, uh, you know, it was, it was basically to help as much as I could because I know what it was like when I went through the whole process of learning Cody and forks and and all the stuff that involves uh, the streaming device industry so definitely keep doing what you're doing guys if this is your first time happening across the channel don't forget to click on the link below and hit subscribe you guys will not be disappointed I promise you we do uh, like we're doing tonight we do build reviews we do streaming device reviews and then I turn around and I'll actually uh, do contest giveaways on those now have to be a subscriber to even have a chance to enter into the contest all right so just keep that in mind so with that said don't miss out on an opportunity click on that link below and hit subscribe for me become a member of a great great Cody community uh, and one last thing make sure you click that bell that way you guys will be notified of any new videos that I come out with all right so let's go ahead and get started guys we're gonna go into a fresh Cody 17.6 Krypton. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the little gear go ahead and click enter and then we're going to go down to system settings go ahead and click enter and just to keep the annoyance level down we're going to go ahead and stop at audio right click we're going to go down to GUI sounds go ahead and click enter for me and then we're going to select none all right so that just completely took the volume out of that those clicks all right, so now we're going to click to the left and we're going to go down to add-ons from here we're going to once again click to the right and we're going to go down to unknown sources go ahead and click enter it's going to bring up your warning box basically just gives you a standard warning that um, you know if you do this and if you allow any kind of downloads uh, you're agreeing um, on the responsibility for any loss of data unwanted behavior or damage to your device just standard warning uh, you have to be uh, or excuse me you have to hit yes to be able to download anything to Cody so with that said go ahead and hit yes and then we're gonna go ahead and once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and hit backspace once and we're gonna go down to file manager go ahead and click enter and then we're gonna go down to add source in the file manager go ahead and click enter and then hit enter one more time for me now you have to type this URL path in just like I have it Okay, now there is a little bit of a difference tonight. This one requires the S, so please don't forget the S, or else it won't work for you and you'll have to go back and figure out what you missed. But in this case, we type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash my sub zero dot space forward slash repo. Okay, I'll give you guys a second to type that in correctly and like I said make sure you have everything in place where it needs to be once you feel confident that it is correct go ahead and hit OK and just for time purposes we're going to go ahead and keep repo now you could actually delete it and you could put razor in there if you wanted uh, you could put anything that you want but we're just going to keep it as repo uh, but once you've done that then you go ahead and hit OK and as you can see repo right here is in there all right so once we've done that now we're going to go ahead and hit backspace twice that's going to take us back out to the main menu and then from here we're going to go down to add-ons 
and then we're going to go ahead and click enter and then we're going to go up to the little install box go ahead and click enter and then down to install from zip file go ahead and click enter and then go down to repo which is what we kept the name as and go ahead and click enter now you only are given one option here so you're going to select that option and what we're looking for is the upper right hand corner we're going to look for add on installed message that comes up with the icon perfect timing see it says sub zero repo add on installed all right so once it's installed then we go up to install from repository go ahead and click enter and then we're going to go down to sub zero repo go ahead and click enter and then down one to program add-ons click enter and then sub zero wizard go ahead and click enter okay it's going to bring up this box and from here you just want to install it because we don't have it on our system yet and as you can see the add-on has been installed now and you also know too if you don't see the box pop up you'll know that it has been downloaded because uh, it has the little check mark there all right now the wizard pops up and it says here welcome to the new sub-zero wizard you can read the rest of that if you want to follow uh, them on Twitter there's their Twitter account so you can communicate with them if you have any questions in regards to the build but from here all we have to do is hit one of the options here it doesn't matter which one so I'm just going to hit it, whatever is on. Okay. Now, the important thing about this box is if you have tracked real to grid or any login information or login data from the previous build, you could select any number of those and it would keep your information on that. I always start out with a fresh build. I don't really have ever anything ever on there. So I do keep the clear cache, clear packages, and clear old thumbnails because it makes your system... <clears throat> and the build run a little bit smoother okay so just keep that in mind so all you have to do here is hit continue and then it's going to bring up a another sub wizard box sub zero wizard box build menu or ignore we're going to go ahead and click the build menu and from here you can hit ignore and we're going to go down to where it says krypton builds I'm going to go ahead and go to Razor Build and click Enter. And this is version 1.02. Okay, and then it tells you what your current build is or what it will be. And then we're going to go ahead and hit Standard Install because we already have a fresh Cody. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit Standard Install. Okay, so it's going to bring up a box and it says, Would you like to download and install? Of course, we're going to hit Yes, Install. Alright, so as you can see, it's only 171.89 megabytes. Uh, for all of you all that are watching, this is perfect for all devices, okay? All devices. Uh, there's a lot of wiggle room here with 171.89 megabytes. You can download just about any add-on without uh, damaging the build itself. Now, what I mean by damaging is, um, you know, people tend to add too much onto something. Uh, and then what happens is it bogs down and it's just no longer a viable build. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind. If there's one or two add-ons that you really, really like uh, or that you come across and you want to try, I mean, I always recommend that. You know, just make sure you don't start adding on a bunch of stuff uh, to where it's going to slow down the build. I mean, it just makes it miserable. You're going to get into more buffering issues. And there's just all kinds of stuff that can come up onto that. <clears throat> but this this will work with all devices, okay? Now, one last thing, too, I want to let you guys know. There's two ways that you can get in touch with me. So if you have any questions or if there's anything that you want to see, please let me know. Um, you know, you can leave a comment if you want, or you can email me at my personal address. I always leave that at the bottom of the description box, okay? So definitely keep in touch with me, and definitely don't forget to do that, all right? Because that will help me out. And I know better what you guys want to see. All right, so that's the key there. All right, uh, so we're getting down to the end here. Uh, as you can see, it went through the downloading phase. Now we're just extracting the files. That doesn't take very long at all.
once again don't forget to click on the link below and hit subscribe for me guys uh, become a member of this team if you're not because we have a great community uh, the channel continues to grow and i want to push it to 100,000 by the end of 2018 okay so remember to share as much as you can if you really like the channel if you think i do a good job you know spread the word you know so that we can get more people involved in this channel I like to see a lot of interaction. The more people, the better the interaction is, okay? So as you can see, it says, would you like to force close Cody? We're going to go ahead and hit force close. And that's going to take us back to the main menu, your native launcher. All right. So let's go back into Cody. And as always, we want to make sure the build menu actually does its thing and downloads. Um, because the number one problem that you have a lot of times is um, you don't let the build actually do its thing. Uh, you don't let you know the shortcuts, skin shortcuts download, uh, and therefore it causes all kinds of freezing problems. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind. Now I like this build because it has the widgets and it also has a sub menu with the regular menu. So let's take a look at what we have here. If this box pops up, just go ahead and hit remind me later. No big deal. Um, and I've been kind of waiting for that. Yes, there you go. You really want to kind of wait for it to do its thing as far as the skin shortcuts goes. So we'll give it just a little bit longer just to make sure that it's doing what it needs to be doing. Guys, I think we are frozen. If for some reason it does freeze like this, uh, all you have to do is go back out to your main menu, go to settings, and then we're going to go down to your apps, and then we're going to go down to the app that you're using, which is Cody in this case, and then we're going to go ahead and hit force stop. Okay, and what that does is that that clears any errors that you have. Okay, so now we can go back into Cody. All right, so what we're looking at here is we have documentaries, all sorts TV, movies, TV shows, we've got Sub Zero. got sports, music, kids, system, and then we're back to documentaries, okay? So under each menu, um, you have your sub-menu. So under documentary, you have Star, Star Tech Docs, Pyramid Docs, Maverick Documentaries, Documentary Heaven, Documentary World, Specialist Docs, Documentaries 1, Documentaries 2. So you can go into any one of these that you like. Let's just go into Mavericks. And as you can see, you got all kinds of documentary stuff about aliens about anything else that you could possibly imagine. So 
a lot of great viewing there. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of a big documentary fan. But there you go. You've got many, many more to choose from there as well. Now, if you scroll on down, you'll see you have a favorites list here and you have your power button. So those are key items there that might save you a little bit of time and then having to try to find it. <clears throat> Moving on, we've got all sorts. You've got Wolfpack, Not Sure, Maverick TV, UK Turk, Retromania Supremacy, and the Pyramid involved there. And then if you go down below, you've got Project M, StarTech, Mr. Robot, Cerebro, IPTV, BC Player, ITV. So as you can see right off the bat, for only 171 megabytes, it's got a lot of great content. So that's very good. You can also move on and you've got movies. So here you've got your add-ons that you can watch these through. So Neptune Rising, Death Streams, Elysium, Cere uh, Cerebro, Showbox, Placenta, Full HD Movies, and we are back to Maverick Movies. All right, so if we scroll down, you have Project M, StarTech, Mr. Robot, and then you have these others as well. All right, moving on, we've got Movies. Here, once again, I was telling you, we have all of these different add-on options here. <clears throat> we can scroll down, and we also have those same ones here. So let's say we want to go into Movie Collection. And there you go. You've got Battalion, you know, a lot of newer screener movies. So that's a great, great option there to have, and they're all in fairly good sources as well. Now you can click on movies, but nothing will happen. Uh, you can also scroll down, like I was telling you earlier, and you have many more add-ons installed. Okay. All right, next up is TV shows. Same thing. You've got Neptune Rising TV, Death Streams, Elysium, Showbox. <clears throat> Placenta and Boom Gold. So that definitely keeps you guys busy with all kinds of different add ons. All right, next is sub menu. So here is pretty cool. We've got Bellator, UFC, Kickboxing, Pride FC, Muay Thai, Wrestling, Invicta. So all kinds of great options here. Just going through a few. Here we've got Random MMA, Boxing, Cage Warriors, One Championship, Full HD Movies, Movie Collection, Real to Brew Movies, Stand Up Comedy, and Box Set Collections. All under your sub zero, which is really cool. Next up is Sports. So we've got some of the top add-ons as of right now, right there. And we still have Jesse's here. So we've got The Loop, Sports Hub, Scorpio Streams, Planet MMA, Net Streams. So you've got all kinds of different sports add-ons as well, which is really nice. <clears throat> and you have your quick links above for quick access. So let's say we want to go into Fight Tube. We just go into Fight Tube. And here you go. you got Bare Knuckle Gypsies, Behind the Gloves. Boxing Legends, British Boxers, all kinds of great stuff. HBO Boxing. So a lot of options there for you guys. Moving on, we've got music. So here you have Wolfpack Music, Paragon Music, Music TV, Live and Concert, Carpool Karaoke, Project M Music, and so on. And you can scroll up, and you've got Dreamsy Beats, and a lot of good quick widgets there as well kids we have disney collection what would a build be without the disney collection there you go you got all of the disney cartoons in alphabetical order how about that <clears throat> we also have classic kids tv so we can just go into that check that out what we got 
S. Some older stuff and newer stuff, which is really cool. So your kids will love that for sure. And then we also have Midian Hotspot, uh, Specialist Kids, Supremacy Kids, Kids Hub, Kids RD Movies, Kids Box Sets, Cartoons, and 8. So all some great stuff there as well. We scroll up and we have kind of the same menu, but just up in the upper part with the widgets. And then last but not least, we have system. So if let's say you wanted to go in and add any add-on, you would go into file manager. You would hit add source like we did from the end, the onset. And then you just click enter, type in your URL path, whatever that may be. And bam, you have your add-on added to this build that's not very big, so that's good. You can add to it. All right, you also have video add-ons. Click here to pair. Cleaning tools, URL resolver, sub, uh, sub zero wizard, razor builds, save data, settings, program add-ons. So a lot of different things there that you can choose from. Uh, one thing that's really cool is if you go into system and you go down to interface and click to the I'll just click enter or not. <coughs> okay, there you go. It's going to bring up some interface settings. Now, the cool thing about this is <coughs> if you scroll down to collars, it's set on skin default. But if you click enter, you can actually change it. Say we go with the black. gives you some options there and that's the great thing about this here's your cleaning tools if you need to you know, make sure that your system is running fully now you've got total cleanup time, total cash, add-on tools, miscellaneous maintenance, see a system twix and fix. So all kinds of great opportunities there. You just have to get involved in them. So very nice. Um, if you click back on system uh, and you want to know what the skin setting is, all you'd have to do is go back down to interface, click enter. And usually it'll tell you, but it kicked me out for some reason. So, But you can go in here and let's say you want to change the collar again. You don't like what you got. You can change it to orange. And there you go. Razor orange. Go. See, it actually takes the lettering and changes it to orange, which is really, really nice. But you have a lot of great options here. If you want to know what the skin type is, uh, you would just click on the interface. And then scroll over to skin. And you have the extended mod of Confluent Skin originally. That's a lot to, to talk about, <laughs> as you can see. <clears throat> but there's all kinds of different things that you can get into, which, like I said, you just have to explore. Anytime you have these builds, you just have to explore. But as you can see, it's a great, great build. It's a very colorful build. Uh, and it has everything that you need, and then what it doesn't have, you can actually add on. So just keep that in mind. You have that opportunity to do that. And all you'd have to do is go to um, System, and there's your file manager right there. And then you can go to Settings. Have build options, maintenance, install settings, track settings, reel to bridge settings, login settings, miscellaneous settings. 
So if you do have any of those builds, there you go. There, you, That's the great thing about this. All right. So let's go into video add-ons. So you have uh, several different things that you can do with this build, which makes it kind of nice. I like that. I like the way that it looks. Uh, it's very sharp. And like I was saying earlier, um, the good thing about this is um, it's one of those builds that will last for a while. It's not going to go down. It's not going to have any issues or should in any way. Um, like I said, I still have the Jarvis version, and I love it. I really do. So anyway, I know this is a short video, but I just wanted to kind of let you all see this and let me know what you think. If you all like it, definitely give me some thumbs up there. Uh, it's very basic, very simple, so I think a lot of people should really like this. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, you can leave me a comment or email me, either one. But again, thank you all for watching, and you all have a good night.